They have billions in their bank accounts, properties all over the world, and closets full of designer clothing. One might assume that the women who have earned this title are well-known figures such as Beyonce, Oprah, or even the Kardashians. The truth, however, may surprise you today. We'll take a close look at the five wealthiest women in America to see how they got there and what they spend all of their money on. Welcome to Financial Fluence. In this video, I'll show you the richest women in the United States. Let's now get going. Number 5. Diane Hendricks With an estimated net worth of $7.4 billion, the richest self-made woman in America, Diane Hendricks was raised on a dairy farm in rural Wisconsin, where she was born and raised. Diane traveled far to amass her current wealth. She began her career as a custom home saleswoman, and after she married her husband, Ken Hendricks, the two joined forces to form ABC Supply, which eventually grew to become the nation's largest roofing distributor. As time went on, their wealth also increased. Since then, she has made a number of movies, worked a lot in politics, and among other things, advised Donald Trump's presidential campaign on its economic plan. She currently has a $10 million mansion in Wisconsin that overlooks a river and is outfitted with tennis courts and a pool, so it seems like she spent most of her money on real estate. Number 4. Lorene Powell Jobs With a net worth of $21.3 billion, the widow of Apple founder Steve Jobs makes it onto our list. She has had quite a bit of success on her own in several different industries, working prior to her marriage as an asset manager and income trading strategist. She then stepped into her role as a philanthropist. She helped start College Track, a successful nonprofit whose goal is to help more low income students go to college and graduate. As if she didn't already have enough philanthropy on her plate, she founded Emerson Collective, a social change organization that uses philanthropy and investing to spark changes in immigration reform, social justice, health, and the environment. Laureen was one of the first people to join the Climate Leadership Council. She is also involved in charity work. She also owns two equestrian ranches, one in Florida and one in Northern California. And she has recently spent more than $60 million on Malibu real estate. Laureen appears to be far from finished. Don't forget to subscribe for more Top 5s, Top 10s, Luxury, and Financial Tips and Advice. Let's return to the video now. Number 3. Mackenzie Bezos Mackenzie Bezos is the next person on our list, with a net worth of $36.1 billion. What was the source of her fortune? If this name sounds familiar, it's because she is the ex-wife of Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon, who recently reached the largest divorce settlement in history. Mackenzie walked away as one of the wealthiest women in America, with a 4% stake in one of the world's most prominent companies. But what role did Mackenzie play in Amazon, and how did she get to where she is now? Mackenzie met her future husband, Jeff, while working at a hedge fund together, after Jeff came up with the idea for Amazon. He and Mackenzie drove across the country to open a store in Seattle. Mackenzie was one of Amazon's first employees, working as an accountant and later negotiating freight contracts. She later went on to become an award-winning novelist and mother to her and Jeff's four children. She also serves as the executive director and founder of an anti-bullying organization called Bystander Revolutions. Mackenzie is one of the few billionaires who has signed the Giving Pledge, promising to donate half of her wealth to charity. Number 2. Julia Koch With a net worth of $41 billion, the next billionaire on our list is Julia Koch. She is the wife of David Koch, who was part of the family that started Koch Industries the second largest privately held company in the United States. Julia grew up in Iowa, where her parents ran a farm and a women's clothing store. It's safe to say she never imagined herself on this list as a young adult. She relocated to New York, where she worked for Adolfo and was given opportunities to style Nancy Reagan. It was in New York that she met her future husband David. Julia immediately stopped working after David died in 2019 in order to raise their three children. Julia went on to inherit a 42% stake in Coke Industries, which has helped her amass such a large fortune. Whether she's relaxing in Aspen, the Hamptons, New York City, or Palm Beach, 
it's safe to say she's set wherever she goes. Number 1. Alice Walton Alice Walton is the wealthiest woman in America, with a net worth of $51.4 billion. Walmart founder Sam Walton's daughter. It would be easy to dismiss Alice Walton's fortune as a gift, but the Arkansas native has had quite an impressive journey on her own. She grew up to work in several prominent businesses as an equity analyst, money manager, and stockbroker. In addition, she founded her own company, The Llama Company, where she served as president and CEO. Unfortunately, no llamas were included in her business ventures. When she got tired of all this financial work, she moved to a ranch where she had a talent for selecting young horses who would go on to become equestrian stars, though most of her fortune came to her after her father's passing in 1992. Her father frequently mentioned her business abilities, even saying that she was the most like him of all his children. And that's all. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoy similar stuff, check out my other videos. And if you like it, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell. And I'll see you in the next video.